I love this guy. They deserve a chance to survive. They ever, everyone. Yes, they do. Only on CBS News Miami. We're taking you down to South, uh, the South Florida, where the pet population crisis literally right at your door. We've reported extensively over the past couple of months here about the overcrowding of shelters all across South mm -hmm. Florida. Every day they either are at or near capacity. Yeah, CBS News Miami's Morgan Reiner has the story of one man, though, who's trying to make a difference for dogs who have no other place to go. If there was ever a place that signifies just how bad the animal crisis is in our country, Junior says it's right here in the Redlands, where he says every day people come to his front gate to dump their dogs. Welcome to Redland, where you can drive for 20 miles alongside fields and farms right before you hit Everglades National Park. It's a historic agricultural area in southwest Miami-Dade County. Everybody has their own personality. Michael. That's where you'll find Newton Sequeira Jr. I love this guy. They deserve a chance to survive. They ever, ever win. Taking care of up to 170 dogs at a time. Grooming dogs was a good career for 25 years. So when I retired, I was trying to help the community that helped me raising my family. He started off with an idea and 20 kennels just three years ago when he retired. It's okay, baby. But he quickly turned into another job as it became clear the problem in Redland is huge. You could have been just fine. I know my name is Junior. Oh, I know, baby. Junior used to spend time driving around to trap the strays, still does. But now people go right to him. This was left outside of our property. It says, pick me up. And it's a whole litter. Many don't. But some dogs do survive in the Everglades, and Junior said he's encountering a whole new problem. Why are dogs or feral dogs? They are breaking in properties looking for food. Um, and they are killing chickens, they are killing pigs for food. Puppies born and raised in the wild. <laughs> dogs like this husky are so feral, Junior knows he'll never be able to adopt them out. But he doesn't care. He'll keep them forever. We should be doing better than that. We can do better than that. And um, I'm sorry, I'm getting a little emotional. That uh, That's what I blame. It's us. OK, we need uh, respect. We need more kindness. Uh, we need to understand that we are responsible for dogging being domesticated. So now it's our responsibility to take care of them. Running on donations and volunteers alone, Junior has managed to build an animal hospital where he helps with spaying and neutering. That's usually where we assess the dog. It was a dream just to help him. Uh, I never thought to be that big. It's just like a small project that we are trying to accomplish and uh, we're making a difference now in this area. It's moments like these that make it all worth it. Remember this video? This is the dog in their new home. Look at this yours, and that's yours. Oh, that is yours. Some of these dogs have never known love, never known companionship, but Junior, he has found a way to gain their trust. Sometimes though, feels like he is the only one who's able to handle some of them. So he doesn't take vacation. He's here every single day and says he plans to continue running this shelter for as long as he can. Morgan Reiner, CBS News, Miami.